Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, some of you may remember this guitar that I was working on a while ago. Yeah, the, uh, the one with the burnt finish and the rusted steel, custom cut plates and whatnot. Um, today I'm going to be fixing up the finish on the back. It's kind of dull, really doesn't look that good. Um, I did, you know, these, these things fade over time. I, I put this together quite a while ago. But also, this never had a real finish on it. It just kind of had a light rub of wax on it uh, just to seal in all the burning and stuff because this was legitimately lit on fire a few times in, in various ways uh, and to seal in the little bit of uh, airbrush accenting that was done on it. So what I'm going to do today, particularly on the back because that's where the problem is, um, I'm going to kind of update that wax finish. I am still going to use wax. But last time, all I really did was, was take some wax on a, uh, on a bit of steel wool and then after on a rag, and I just kind of, you know, <laughs> didn't really do much. I just kind of wiped it on there. So this time I'm going to do it properly, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a wax finish um, the way that I do them now. I'm going to be using the Minwax Paste Finishing Wax. There are lots of different waxes out there. Um, the Renaissance Museum wax is really good. This stuff's not bad if you use it right. The secret really is it just takes a little bit more time and effort than when I put it on originally. So what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna be using, I'm just using a shop towel here and a heat gun. And what I'm gonna do, I wish I had something better to rest this guitar on. Sorry, shop's in a bit of disarray right now. So I'm going to use a random box full of parts. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to heat up my cloth and the wax that's on it, or heat up my cloth and then apply the wax to it. And I'm going to use that to buff this in. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it build up faster. It's going to kind of soften the wax a bit, almost make it a bit wetter. Uh, and it's going to yeah make it easier to apply. So hopefully without burning myself here because this thing's really hot I'm going to heat up the cloth first then I'm going to take some wax on it and it's already kind of liquidy I can see from how the, the cloth was warm but I'm going to heat that up a little bit too it's smoking a little bit Try not to light anything on fire when you're doing this. And then with some force here, I'm really gonna rub this on. And I'm gonna do that a few times. I'm probably gonna build up five or six layers like this, just making sure that I keep this warm and I keep uh, you know, applying a fairly thick layer of this stuff and then I'm gonna buff it off after. I kind of showed you guys what this looked like originally. So now you're going to be able to kind of see a comparison once I've got a little bit more wax on there. Alright, so that's my first kind of layer of this, if you will. And right now, it's a very kind of dull look, very dull waxy look, kind of like it was before, but I'm starting to get a fairly sizable layer of it on there. I'm going to do that same thing off camera because there's no point in you watching me repeat myself. I'm going to do that another two times after I wait a couple minutes for this to kind of cool down. It doesn't really have to dry. so. Just going to wait a few minutes, let it cool down, and then I'm going to do that a couple more times. And then we'll come back and I will buff this. Uh, I'll show you how that's done. And we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, so we've got our few layers of finishing wax on there, paste wax. Um, now, 
Let me see if I can show this to you. Kind of testing some stuff out over here. But let's just see here if I try and buff this, this area that's got that dull finish on it. You'll notice it doesn't really accomplish much, right? This kind of just stays dull. I pull off a little bit of wax on my cloth. There's not much going on here. This part was done before, sorry. But uh, you can tell, you know, eventually I might be able to buff that to kind of a satiny sheen with enough effort. It's not really smooth and it, it just doesn't quite work. Take a lot, of, uh, a lot of elbow grease to get that anywhere near where we want it to be. But what you can do to speed things up, you see if I can get the, the lighting right here, is you can take the heat gun and kind of warm up an area so that the wax on it almost melts and then you can buff that. You just have to be careful. All right, so let's get the heat gun going here. See if I can show you what I'm talking about. See it starting to wet? Yeah, there we go. I think that's showing up in the camera. And so as I do this, the wax in those areas kind of starts to melt a bit. Right, now that, that's not gonna look like that when it dries. I, I need to smooth it out and make sure it's gonna, it's gonna be buffed before I, you know, before it dries, uh, sorry, before it uh, cools again completely. So I heat it up like that and then I go in with the cloth and while it's still hot, buff it out. It starts to, to dull out as I do that. But this is the part where once you buff it reasonably well, it turns back to that nice satin finish fairly quickly. See what I mean? So now I've got that satiny look all across that area, and it really didn't take much time at all. This part I haven't done yet, but uh, you can see even right here along this edge, it's already started to get it because I heated it up. See how that looks now? Nice and shiny comparatively, okay? So it makes a huge difference having a, having a heat gun at your disposal while you do this. It makes it easier to apply, but it makes it way easier to polish it. And you can touch up the polish work on something that's got a wax finish if you're careful. You don't wanna be just melting finishes on stuff. And don't assume that something's got a wax finish either. But you can touch up your uh, you're kind of polish and you're buffing and whatnot. If you just carefully warm it up with the heat gun. And then take a dry, clean cloth or rag or whatever it happens to be and go ahead and buff it out. All right, guys, so that's, that's basically how I do that. I find that that's a lot, uh, a lot faster than any of the other alternatives for a wax finish, and it produces a finer result. If you don't like a wax finish, that's entirely fair. A lot of people don't, um, but if you do, hopefully you'll find that method useful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the front. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. And stay tuned, uh, once I'm done all of this stuff, I'll probably get this guy set up and we might do some sound demos with it so I can show you what all these switches do. <laughs> Thanks for watching, have a good one.